So a couple months ago, uh, To Be Serious informed us all about the Altenburg 16 um, meeting where a bunch of evolutionary biologists, geneticists, um, molecular biologists are getting together to uh, talk about how the uh, neo-Darwinian uh, synthesis, which has been the reigning paradigm in biological evolutionary science for um, at least 50 years, 60 years maybe, um, about how it's no longer adequate to explain um, the phenomena under investigation, that being life. Um, there's discussion uh, among the scientists involved in this meeting about epigenetics, about self-organization and complexity theory, um, you know, morphology, things which generally were ignored by the neo-Darwinian uh, synthesis. Um, they're trying to move away from the centrality of the gene. Uh, a lot of the uh, scientists involved argue that the gene has taken center stage because of its many um, technological uh, applications and uh, certainly there's a lot of promise, uh, industrial uh, promise wrapped up in say the Human Genome Project uh, where people, um, shareholders and such have invested a lot of money in the idea that we will be able to cure diseases, um, select traits like intelligence, certain physical features, eye color, hair color, etc. Um, and so in the, in the mainstream media and the press, uh, gene centrism gets a lot of play, a lot of coverage, even while it may uh, fail to adequately explain and provide an ex you know, a, a framework for understanding how evolution works on a larger scale. Um, so I'll include a link to uh, a paper that's been done, or I, I think it's more of um, an e-book, you could say, about some of the presentations that were given um, and uh, there will be a book published next year which contains you know a more in-depth uh, look at the actual papers that were presented and um, I included a link to uh, a specific scientist Antonio Lima de Feria who has an idea that evolution extends beyond just what we normally consider living organisms, um, all the way down to atoms, uh, chemicals, um, that these elements have gone through an evolutionary process as well that is that exists on a continuum with biological evolution, so that um, a theory of biological evolution is not a theory of evolution at all. It, it only takes a very narrow range of the evolutionary phenomenon into consideration. So uh, read that that essay. It's really interesting, and um, you know I'm excited about this development because uh, you know the reductionistic, mechanistic, um, you know sort of inhumane approach of uh, of neo Darwinism was never very appealing to me, uh, and I'm glad that uh, we're beginning to take a more holistic, uh, ecological. Um, and, and systems-based uh, approach to understanding this. Um, so check it out, let me know what you think, and uh, take it easy.